I loves me some gem matching games, and the Switch is beginning to amass a decent collection of them. The latest adds a nice unique twist on the genre, along with some deep looking RPG mechanics. Remember, if you want more honest Nintendo Switch reviews like this one, of games big and small, then please subscribe below. And once that's done, let's dive into the murky world of the Darkest Hunters on the Nintendo Switch. The Darkest Hunters comes from Ultimate Games, and one of the first things you may notice is the bargain price of £4.49 and $5.39, which is nice. In the game, you choose a hunter from the cliched selection of archetypes and head off through the 300 levels or so to smite as many beasts and collect as much loot as you can. Now the unique twist I mentioned at the start involves the way you move through a level. Now imagine looking down on the dungeon from a bird's eye view and your character is represented by a gem on the board. Starting at your character, you then draw out a line to link as many gems of the same type as you can. You then move along this path, collecting all the gems that you linked. I've played a lot of these matching type games, but I can't recall one that uses this matching and linking mechanic for actual movement. The gems you pick up refill your three stat bars of health, attack and magic, which add another nice twist of what gems you need to aim for at different points in the level, depending on what stats you may need. As is standard in these sort of games, matching five or more gems in a row gives you a more powerful gem of that type. As well as standard colour gems, you can also find gold coins, scrolls, hidden rooms and ultimately the exit gem which you need to finish the level. To progress through the game, you need to complete mini achievements for each level and collect stars for increasingly difficult tasks. This means some grind will be needed to receive every star you need to open up new levels but this was never really an issue as levels are so short. My main issue with the matching side of the game is the lack of any real sense of strategy or urgency. You're free to wander around the dungeon for as long as you like, which really removes any sort of skill from the game. Dungeons really should be timed in either actual time or in a number of moves to complete the dungeon, which would necessitate some future planning of the most efficient routes to take. But as it is, there's no real penalty for not maximising your movement. Even running out of gems to match in decent runs of quantity isn't that punishing, and you can move around one gem at a time if needed. Enemies will skip around the board, pretty much ignoring the restrictions of gem movement, and are often are hard to make out at first glance against all the other gems. The larger boss enemies though, can really trap you in a corner if you're not careful, and they were the only levels that I felt any sort of threat. Completing different numbers of stars in a level rewards you with gear chests. These overflow with loot, ranging from weapons, armour, gold and enchantments. It's such a shame then that the loot system is really fundamentally flawed. The two major issues are that it's hard to see if any gear you pick up is better or worse than your equipped gear without clicking into it and checking the stats. This becomes really tiresome because, as the second issue is, 99% of what you do pick up is actually just junk. This is such a shame as the RPG system here is pretty well done, but it's just the loot is handled so badly. Overall, Darkest Hunters has a lot going for it. Its budget price is great, the presentation on the whole is absolutely acceptable, with nice graphics, decent sound and a lot of content. Joy-Con controls have been patched in post-release, and after spending some time with the touchscreen and Joy-Con controls, I'd personally say the touchscreen is the better way to go, but credit to the devs for adding in controller support anyway. It's such a shame then that the two main fundamental parts of gameplay are pretty uninspired. The matching game really needs some dread adding to it, and the RPG system, looting in particular, needs a bit of an overhaul. If you're looking for a puzzle game you can relax with and doesn't make you think too much, then you could find some joy here, especially at the asking price. With that in mind, I'm going to give Darkest Hunters a 6 out of 10, as I do think there are some elements here that people will enjoy, and there's just enough polish to warrant an above average score. Okay, thank you for watching the review. If you like this, please remember to subscribe below as it really helps the channel out, and I look forward to seeing you on the next review, but still then remember, stay switched on.